Hey there, fellow electricity enthusiasts. Welcome back to another episode of Electricity Frenzy. I'm your host, and today, we're diving into a topic that affects us all, recognizing symptoms of low voltage in your home. So, grab your notepads, because we're about to uncover the signs, causes, and ways to check if your home is dealing with low voltage. Let's get started. First things first, what exactly is low voltage? Well, it's when the electrical supply to your home isn't at the level it should be. Normally, homes in the USA receive around 120 volts of alternating current, VAC, but when that voltage drops significantly, you might start noticing a few telltale signs. Symptom number one, dimming lights. One of the most common indicators of low voltage is when your lights suddenly start dimming or flickering, especially when you turn on larger appliances like air conditioners or refrigerators. This happens because these appliances draw more power, causing a drop in voltage to the lights. Symptom number two, slow or sluggish appliances. Have you ever noticed your blender not working at its usual speed or your fan spinning slower than usual? Appliances struggling to perform properly can signal a low voltage issue. They might not get enough power to operate optimally, affecting their performance. Symptom number three, overheating devices. If your electronic devices like laptops, chargers, or even your television are getting unusually hot, it might be due to low voltage. When these devices don't receive the necessary voltage, they can overcompensate, leading to overheating and potential damage. This also applies to motor-driven appliances like fans, they might heat up more than usual due to low voltage. Symptom number 4, fridge motor issues. Here's another important sign to watch out for, if the motor of your fridge struggles to start or can't start properly, it could be due to low voltage. Refrigerators need a good amount of power to kickstart their motors, and low voltage can make this process challenging. So, if you hear your fridge making unusual sounds or struggling to get going, it's time to consider the possibility of low voltage. Also, keep in mind that heavy appliances like fridges, air conditioners, and washing machines are more susceptible to low voltage issues than smaller ones like fans, laptops, and PCs. This is because these heavier appliances require more power to function properly, and a drop in voltage can significantly affect their performance. Now, let's talk about an interesting twist to the story. Some modern electronics, like LED lighting and certain devices, have a wider operating voltage range. This means they might not be as affected by a certain voltage drop if it's within their operating range. So, while these devices could still work relatively well during a minor voltage dip, don't forget that prolonged exposure to very low voltage can still lead to decreased lifespan and suboptimal performance. Now, the question remains, how do you know if your home is dealing with low voltage? Well, it's time to put on your detective hat. One of the most reliable ways to check for low voltage is by using a voltage meter. These handy devices measure the voltage levels at your outlets. If the reading consistently falls below the standard 120 volts, it's time to take action. However, if you're not comfortable using a voltage meter, another simple approach is to pay attention to those symptoms we discussed earlier. If you notice any of them, it's a strong indication that your home might have a low voltage problem. Before we wrap up, make sure to check out the link in the video description below. I've provided a highly rated voltage stabilizer on Amazon that can be a fast and effective solution to tackle voltage fluctuations in your home. Don't miss out on this opportunity to keep your appliances running smoothly and protect them from potential damage. Remember, low voltage isn't just an inconvenience, it can potentially damage your appliances and electronics over time. So, if you suspect low voltage in your home, don't hesitate to reach out to a qualified electrician they'll be able to assess the situation and recommend the necessary steps to ensure your home's electrical system is running smoothly. That's all for today's episode of Electricity Frenzy. I hope you found this information helpful and empowering. Stay curious, stay safe, and keep those volts steady. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to stay up to date with our electrifying content. Until next time, stay charged.